Hey, 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 what's up, y'all? And welcome back to my channel. I am your girl, Mina Slay, best friend. And in today's video, I will not actually be showing you an install, but I will be showing you what I've done to this unit and how I got this unit to this color. This unit is by Beauty Forever. This is the Jerry Curl 24 inch 4x4 lace frontal wig. And let me turn my camera around so y'all can see. All right, the hair came in this package uh, by Beauty Forever. And it actually came in this uh, plastic baggie with the uh, details on it. The hair is from China, so definitely spray your wigs down with the uh, Lysol sprays because you definitely don't want to have the COVID. <laughs> and this is in the 24 inch. Uh, it's 180% density. So th I actually performed a watercolor uh, treatment on this hair. I dyed it doing the watercolor method. So I have this uh, big tub container that I put, you know, just about maybe two inches of water in and to make the, uh, the bleach, because I had to lift the hair from the jet black to uh, a blonde so I can, you know, apply the dye on it. So I actually went in with this... Um, the BW2, uh, this is the the uh, powder lightener. So I used that, got that from my local beauty supply store. And I used the 40 uh, volume developer in the pure white chloral is what I, I used uh, to lift the hair. So once the hair is was lifted, I put the hair in here and I would just, you know, dipping it, dipping it, dipping it, you know, a couple times. I actually let the hair sit in here for about 30 minutes, maybe 35 minutes until the hair lifted all the way completely through as i was you know rinsing it and i was checking it i was actually going through with my uh brush and i was just combing the hair and the product through the the wig that way i could make sure the powder and, and the uh, bleach got distributed through the hair uh properly so once that happened i took it to the sink i rinsed it out got the hair rinsed out then i shampooed the hair shampooed it with some tresemme uh the tresemme uh, here it is, uh, seven by seven. This is the conditioner, but I used black Tresemme shampoo is what I, I did use once I rinsed up the dye. I'm sorry, the bleach. So once I got the bleach rinsed out, I actually rinsed this out, rinsed all the bleach and everything out of here, cleaned this container out, put some new hot water in here because now I'm gonna do the watercolor. So once the hot water is in here, another two inches of water, you know, you don't need that much water. I went in with the Adore. Uh, not the cinnamon. The cinnamon was the one I was going to use for the ends of the hair, but I went in with the um, the ginger. So the color of my hair that I have now is ginger, but it is in the Adore brand. This is the one I just didn't use. I didn't use the cinnamon. So once I put the two inches of hot water in here, you want the water to be hot because it helps the pores of the hair open up and so it could be able to absorb the color uh, much better. And, and I have a pit bull, and you see he's just all up in my business. <laughs> but um, yes. So I used the whole, I used two bottles of the ginger, not the cinnamon, but the ginger. And once the water was hot and I had the water in here, I, I emptied two of these uh, containers, these uh, bottles into the water. You want to mix it all around and make sure everything gets dissolved real good. Make sure you wear your gloves and please wear your gloves definitely when you're using and working with the bleach and the lifter because you know, bleach, you don't want the bleach to get into your skin and possibly into your bloodstream because that could be a whole mess. So. Get your water in here, get your color in here. Then what you do is take the wig, and put it back in there, and you just want to keep drenching the wig, mixing it around. Make sure you get all the color absorbed in it. Periodically taking your brush, combing the color through the wig, and then re-dipping, re-dipping, re-dipping. I dipped this wig probably about five different times before I took it to the sink and rinsed it out. So once I entered the container, emptied everything out, I took it to the sink, and you don't want to shampoo the hair anymore after you rinse it from being dyed because it can cause some of the color to come out of the hair. So you want to keep as much color in the hair as possible. So what I did was just went back in with just a conditioner only and just conditioned the hair and I put it in just like a plastic baggie, like one of Walmart bags. And um, that was basically it. So now what I'm about to do is go outside and give you guys the natural looking i want you guys to see this hair in the natural sunlight to see how the color is this is how the color looks inside the house 
but I'm now about to go outside and give y'all a view of how the hair looks. So definitely, once the video is over, I definitely want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and ultimately, subscribe, <laughs> subscribe, I can't stress subscribe enough, to my channel. So until next time, girls, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, leave a comment down in the comment section below if anything that I described in this video was not helpful to you. No, I did not do an installation in this video. I just wanted to show you what I do did to the hair and how I did it in the products that I used. That's all this video was about. So if you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video, but let's go outside. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I am coming to y'all today, this morning, <sighs> full of light, full of sunshine with a new color. I dyed this hair. This started from a jet black and I lifted it and put this uh, ginger, it's by a door, color called ginger on the hair. I think I'm loving this new color, y'all. I'm feeling all type of fall, summer vibes, all type of stuff going on with this color. Hopefully y'all can see it real good. But let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think about this color. I have to come outside in the sunlight to get the true color of the hair. Let me know what y'all think on, how y'all think this color look on me. This is a 24 inch jerry curl, human hair, four by four frontal wig. And I just installed it with some got to be glue, uh, gel in the yellow bottle and some got to be glue free spray, yellow can. Let me know what you think. I think it makes me look cute. The dog likes it too. BK likes it. BK. BK. He looking at you. He looking at somewhere. Oh.